Hello, guys. How are you? Good. I'm doing good. So, today I'm here to tell you about something very exciting to learn. Today we are going to learn something about water. I know. I know water we can find almost everywhere we go everywhere we look but today we are going to learn something about water very specific something like how water works hmm. so today we are going to learn something about water cycle what water cycle yes today we are going to learn together about the water cycle so the water cycle, it's like that. Water cycle, it's a process. It's how water works in the nature. So the water goes up to the sky and goes down to the ground. The water goes up to the sky and goes down to the ground. This is how water works. And we call this process water cycle. Do you want to learn about water cycle with me? Yes! So let's do this together. Let's go, guys. Let's learn about water cycle today. Yay! So yes, today we're going to talk about water cycle. Let's do it. So, Teacher Lily, what is a water cycle? Remember, I just told you, water cycle is this process. As you see in the picture, is the process that the water goes up to the sky and, yes, goes down to the earth. Look at me. The water that goes up to the sky and goes down. Yeah, come back to the ground, or in this case, to the sea. You see there? Nice, so let's do it. So the water cycle has a process. So the first word that we're gonna learn about the, that we are going to learn about the water process is, look at this, is dun, 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 collection. Yes, teacher Lee, what is collection? Collection is where the process of the water cycle starts. So look, here, what, does someone know it? the name of this? Sea. I know, some of you just said ocean. That works too. So this is the sea, and this is where we find the water, and this is where we uh, have all this process that we call water cycle happening. It starts there. So, but teacher Lily, just in the ocean. No, let's take a look. We can find the water, as we said, in the ocean or here in the ocean or what is it? Does someone know what is it? Mm -hmm. River. It's a long river. Good job. Oh, we can find the water. Does someone know what is it? Mm -hmm. Lake or lagoons. But I think here it's a lake. So we can find the water in the lakes. So here, it's where the water cycle process starts. Every process has a beginning. In the water cycle, we call this process, or this beginning, collection, okay? Second word that we're going to learn about today, the water process, or the water cycle, it's... <laughs> Can someone guess what is it? I know it's water, it's an ocean, but what is it? So 
Vapor. Good job, guys. This is a vapor. So we call this process evaporation. Can everybody say together? Evaporation. Can everybody say again? Evaporation. Now just you guys. Good job. Evaporation. So the water here, do you see? It's in a liquid stage. But here is a different state we call vapor. So when the water turns to vapor, we call evaporation. And I know we can see this in the nature. Let's take a look. So you see here, it's a lake. And here is the vapor. The water here is liquid. But here it's no more, it's a vapor. So when the water turns to vapor, yes, we call evaporation. But teacher Lily, why the water turns to vapor? So up above the sky, we have a big, big, big ball we call sun. I know, what color is the sun? I know you guys know it, it's yellow, ah, kind of orange. Yes, you're right. So when the sun hits up the water here and turn the water like hot, so the water that it's here liquid is gonna turn to vapor. So this process we call evaporation. And I know here is in the nature, but we can see this at home. Really? Yes, take a look with me. So here we have what? Yes, a tea, it's a hot tea. And then in the hot tea, we can see a little here and here, a vapor comes out. Do you see it? Okay, let's try another picture. <gasps> That's better. Here, we have coffee and the coffee, it's liquid. And now, because it's hot, it's turned to vapor, did you see? Good job. And even when your mom, there, she's hanging clothes, you know, outside to dry, the clothes before was wet, and now it's dry. I know we can see the vapor, but the evaporation process happened there too. Isn't that awesome? It's fun, I told you. So let's say the name again. This process, the water cycle, the first one, it's collection. Everybody say collection. The second one we call evaporation. Good job, guys. Now let's see the next word. The next word we call condensation. I know it's a big word, but we can say it. Let's try together. Condensation, condensation. Good job, guys. So, teacher Lily, I don't know what is it. I will try to explain. So when the water, remember that I told you? So the water was liquid in the collection, then turns to vapor in the evaporation. And now it's up there in the sky, in the clouds. So now the vapor is gonna turn to liquid. So when the water that was vapor turns to liquid, we call this condensation. Take a look. So you see here, the little drops, do you see? So was vapor, but now we can see it's liquid again. The water, it's liquid again. So we call this process condensation. When the vapor turns to liquid, in the nature we can see this in the clouds. In the clouds when the water turns to vapor to liquid, it's get like in there, up there in the clouds, it's very cold, cold, cold. So, because it's cold, the water's starting to be heavy, 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 and something's going to happen. But the process to turn vapor to liquid, we call condensation. Even the, you see the cup with water, even there we can see the little drop of water. So we can see the condensation process even at home. 
next word. Oh, I know you know what is it. Can someone guess or tell me what name, how we call this? Good job, clouds. And how do we call this? Rain. So this next word that we are going to learn the name, it's precipitation. And we can see this very clear when it's rainy. When it's rainy, we can see this process, the precipitation process happened. So the water was there before was a vapor, then was liquid, and then because it was cold, very cold, and start to be very heavy, the water start to coming down. And you will see it as a rain. Let's take a look. Rainy raining and raining all the pictures are like rainy and maybe two days ago was rainy so when we see the rain we can see the process called precipitation good job god i know it's a big word but i know you can do it so let's say again the four words can someone tell me the first one Collection. Second one. Hmm? Hmm? Condensation. The next one. Okay. First, collection. Second, evaporation. Next, condensation. And the last one, precipitation. So, let's see what do we learn today. Let's see if we have memorized the words. So, let's see the words that we learn. First, what is it? Yeah, a lake, good job. Oh, huh? it's okay, say what's a sea, it's a sea, it's okay. And then what is it? Cloud, good job. And what is it? The sun, yeah. And what is it? Rain, good job. So here we have the water cycle process, but let's remember together the words for the water cycle. So the first one we call collection. Teacher Lily, collection happened just, let me ask you, Teacher Lily, collect does just happen at the sea? No, remember, we show a lot of pictures, like can be in the river, can be lakes, can be whatever you find water, can be lagoons, can be waterfalls. So this is where happened the collection. Next one, evaporations. Remember, the sun starts to hit up the water, the water comes up, as a va vapor, good job, guys. And the next one, evaporation, next it's a condensation, and the next is a precipitation. Good job. Now let's say together. One, collections. In the sea, in the lakes, in the rivers. Next, evaporation. Yeah, happened in the clouds or even at home yeah like a tea a hot tea you can see the evaporation there next condensation yes do you remember the example that i gave that we can see at home this process happening the condensation good job a cup of water and do you see the little drop of water there and then the precipitation that we can see when it's Rainy, good job, everybody. Let's go say together. Collection, evaporation, condensation, precipitation. Again, collection, evaporation, condensation, precipitation. Now just you guys are gonna point and you guys is gonna tell me. One, two, let's go. Good job. Next. 
Good job. One more time. Yes, and the last one. Yay, guys, good job. So here in that picture, we can see the water cycle. Collection, evaporation, condensation, precipitation. Remember, do you remember what I said? The water goes up and come down. Let's say together. The water goes up to the sky and come down. Up, down, up, down. And this process we call the water cycle. The first word that we learned today was collection. Second, evaporation. Next, condensation. And next, precipitation. We learned all this word today and we learned about the water cycle. Good job, guys. High five. You guys did awesome. That was so much fun. And because it was so much fun, I have something for you. Are you ready? I have homework. And it's so, 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 so much fun. Teacher Lily, what is it? So, do you see here? You have activity one, activity two. And here we have science and water cycle. We just learned about it today. And we have activity two and then science and the water cycle. So what you have to do is, look, it's you, do you see here the link? You're gonna, you are going to click and watch movies. The second one, you do the same thing. You just click it and you watch movie. It's a movie about the water cycle. So we can learn more. And then when we come back, we have so, so much to tell. You have so much to talk and so much fun. We, wanna, we are going to have together. I'm so excited to see you guys. And I hope you are have fun. And I hope you still learn English. And I hope you stay safe at home. Bye-bye. I have just something to tell you. Look. See you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.